What it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. Today I'm gonna be going over five common mistakes you wanna avoid when you're putting. If you've been watching my content for a while, you know I'm definitely not the best putter. However, I don't think you need to be a good putter in order to know what mistakes you're making. Maybe I should call this five common mistakes that I make, but I have a pretty good feeling that if I'm making those mistakes, there's hundreds of other people out there making the same exact mistakes. I've just come to notice that nearly every single time that I miss a putt, it's because one of these five reasons. I honestly couldn't have picked a windier day to film a putting video, but make sure you guys stay until the end because I am gonna put these in order from least common to most common for me at least. So starting off with tip number one, not having a routine. I am so guilty of this, of just stepping up to a point. I think it's from making these videos, these YouTube videos to be honest. I always want my putts to seem authentic, like I'm not doing one, two, three takes to make a putt, you know? So I always try to rush it so there's no cuts. That way people can't say, oh, he just cut to a, a one that he made the clip. No, I try to keep it all one clip and do it really quick. But that has caused me to not focus on having a putting routine. So it's like a free throw when you step up in basketball. You step up to the free throw line. I used to dribble one, two, three, spin the ball, one to the side, boom and shoot but i get to disc golf to a putt basically the free throw of disc golf and i just step up oh yeah put it in the basket nah get a routine get set breathe and put it in Ooh, it's windy, boy. <laughs> it is windy today. I normally throw a putter, my envy on this hole, but I knew because of the headwind, I was gonna have to disc up. I went Katuku, so an overstable mid, and we still came up short, and it pushed it really far left. Tip number two is going to be forgetting to breathe. I have a really bad habit of stepping up to the putt and getting all anxious. Oh, I need to make this, I need to make this. What do I need to do to make this? Get it in the basket, please put it in the basket. I forget to breathe. I literally am holding my breath the whole time, causing even more anxiety to go through on my body and increasing the chances that I'm gonna miss that putt. Just remember to breathe in, breathe out. Some people say breathe out while you're putting. I don't necessarily do that. However, I do try to remember now to breathe in, breathe out before my putts to make sure I get the oxygen flowing through my body. Look, you're never gonna make them all, but knowing the problems that are causing you to miss is half the battle. Oh, that's perfect. We ain't got a putt on this hole. This might be the best shot I've ever had on this hole. <laughs> it's freaking parked, baby. This is a tricky little hole. It's, it's sneaky. You wouldn't think it'd be hard because it's short. With that low ceiling and going uphill, it is a hard shot, honestly. Tip number three, alligator arming. I am really bad about this. Whenever I'm scared of a putt, like if there's OB behind or I'm scared of having a long comebacker putt if I miss, a lot of times what I find myself doing is like this little alligator arm. My arm doesn't fully extend. It doesn't come all the way out. It more just like stays in like little T-Rex or an alligator and that's when you get those little you know cage hits like that so make sure you are fully committing fully commit to your putt maybe that's what i should name it not alligator arming full commitment fully commit to your putt and at and reach out and touch somebody hey we don't got a putt on this one either okay now this is parked baby it's hard to give a putting tip when you throw one like this, you know? My tip number four is having a tense shoulder. I find having a tense shoulder usually leads to the last tip, the alligator arming. Whenever my shoulder's tense, I tend to come up short like that. And I really know when my shoulder wasn't relaxed during a putt because I have a shoulder injury. I separated a shoulder like nine years ago. It gives me a lot of troubles. And if I have my shoulder tensed up, that quick jerky motion of the putt really aggravates my shoulder. And I instantly know, yep, you had your shoulder tensed up. And almost every single time I'm hitting bottom cage when that happens. So make sure you're keeping your shoulder loose, completely loose. I let my shoulder all the way loose. Let that thing fall to the ground, man. Let it fall off. I think keeping that shoulder loose is gonna help you knock in a lot more putts. Yeah, that's a good shot. Well, it actually wasn't as good a shot as I thought. We ended up right behind this tree. 
Gonna be a bit of a tricky putt, but that is gonna lead me to tip number one, or number, is it number five? Which way did I start? Did I start from five up or down? Whatever. Tip number one is gonna be my most common mistake that causes me to miss putts, is not following through, not extending my fingers, pointing at the basket, really focusing, focusing is the main thing, focusing on a single chain link, and really extending my fingers, following through every single time, follow through to the basket. Whenever I find myself in a putting slump, it's usually because I'm not focusing and realizing I'm not following following through. There's been times when I literally am in the middle of a tournament and I forget how I do my putt. I forget like what my motions are. I stop focusing and I start thinking about all these other things, all the bad shots I've had, and I stop focusing on that follow through. And then I'll get home the next day, I'll be laying in bed thinking about it all night crying and be like, dude, you just weren't following through. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty tough putt. I don't know if I'll make this, but we're going to see if we can follow through, put it in the chains, headwind, right to left wind. Let's put it in there. Oh, alligator arm to tip number three, alligator arm. <laughs> you know what, you know what, let's do a bonus tip. Not much of a putt there either. Not too shabby a throne today, I'm not upset with that. But my last tip is gonna be not laying up when you know you should. Now this one honestly doesn't get me so much anymore, but when I first started out, it would really get me. But nowadays I honestly play pretty conservatively whenever I'm playing a competitive round. If there's a chance that I could go B, or if there's a chance that I miss the putt and I'm gonna have a long comebacker, most times I'll just lay up. Like I generally play extremely, extremely safe when I'm playing competitively. But that used to get me into a ton of trouble. I would run putts when I had no business running them or there's OB behind them. Like think about how often you make in those long putts and think about how often you're missing them. All right, now you're expecting yourself to make that little tiny percentage when there's freaking a hazard right behind you or whatever it is that you're scared of, you know. The odds of you making that mistake are pretty high. So know when to run your putts, but know when to lay up and play conservatively. All right, y'all, that is gonna wrap up my top five most common mistakes that makes you miss your putts. I think if you can really focus on these five things and try to fix them, you're gonna be sinking a lot more putts out there on the course. But let me know down in the comments if I missed anything that you guys think is causing people to miss a lot of putts. And as always, if you like the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you wanna see more, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.